My commute is on an airplane. I was at Circus Santa, busted my ankle. So Alice has now been gone for. Oh, wow. Oh. Let's do this. Adventure. Time for another adventure. Does this hurt? <laughs> yes, it does. Off. 20 Michael John. <laughs> it's never a good morning for Mike. He does not like the morning. Ryan loves the morning. I'm good in the morning. Excellent. I wouldn't say I'm like a total morning guy, but like, in the morning, I'm not gonna be cranky. There you go. That's what I'm tired, I'm asleep. If I'm not, I'm gonna enjoy the morning. Exactly. I totally agree with you. Excellent. Uncle Chris is a morning guy. Yes, he is. I want to be like Uncle Chris on a motor. There you go. He just sits and. Watches the sunrise, or reads his books. Like, yeah. Look we'll up coffee. Yeah. All right, I'm getting ready to fly today. Ryan is flying in a different capacity, <laughs> flying off <to> school. <laughs> I got a presentation today. I got a big day. Got a presentation and speech. Or like a speech. Uh -huh. um, and then <laughs> this <laughs> um, in marine biology. I was supposed to get a cookie cake because we're going to make a cell on this. Um, but we ended up just making them from scratch. Yeah. And it's in a pizza box and it's all ready to go. And so what, you're going to have like the cytoplasm here and the yeah. myotoplasm, so like whatever that's called. Another, if you want a group, you got like frosting and candy and stuff. And you can make here. yourself a cell. Exactly. I love it. And then eat it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, gross. <laughs> when you walk into school with a pizza box. You're going to be the most popular kid at school. Yeah. Everyone's like, yo, can I get some pizza? I'm like, sure. It's a, that's even better. When you open up, it's a chocolate chip cookie. That's true, actually. That's even better. That's yeah. it. Well, good luck with everything today. Thank you. Absolutely. Have a great, what is today? Wednesday. Have a great rest of the week. I'll see you Sunday morning. Huh? Oh, okay. wow. oh. I love you. Oh. Stay in touch with me. Send me pictures. Let me know how you're doing. I will. Okay? Yeah. I'm going to miss you. Thanks, man. I'm going to be Hey guys, so I'm getting ready to go on my next trip and I've been home for about four days now and I'm getting ready to go this afternoon. And when I returned home after, before my, or after my last trip, I saw Eddie, but I didn't see Alice. And Mike and Ryan told me that they hadn't seen her since the day before, but it hadn't really occurred to them. So Alice has now been gone for four days. Saturday to Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday for four days. And I have posted everywhere i have posted on line i have posted on social media i've posted in so many places i've gone through neighborhoods i've called out her name i don't know what to do so now i'm putting up these lost kitty these lost kitty signs there's alice i am like i don't know what else to do i am so since then you know i had apple air tags on them but that did that was clearly not working um, Apple AirTags, as far as I understand now, <laughs> I'm realizing they only work as far as Bluetooth goes. So, um, if the kitties go farther than a Bluetooth distance, which they do, um, then you can't, you can't identify it, like you can't find them. So, I found this lady that was selling trackers, so I bought some trackers, and now Eddie has a tracker, it's a GPS tracker, so I pay, like, seven dollars a month to track that now so I can have cell service for the tracker so now we're just going around in different neighborhoods I mean I hung posters around my neighborhood immediately but now I'm going farther out into different neighborhoods Mike seems to think that maybe like Alice is you know so well groomed and everything and she has a little pink collar with a little apple air tag so maybe somebody like took her in and is just waiting to find information waiting for someone to claim her so that's why I'm going to these different neighborhoods and putting signs up that maybe she went to these neighborhoods. I, I also, um, I also put her in with the county, and so like if they find a stray cat or whatever, um, then they'll put her. She's micro microchipped. I mean, I, I've done all, like, I, I don't know what else to do. So please say your prayers that Alice comes back because I miss her dearly, and I am. Um, I'm getting ready to go on my trip, and I, there's nothing I can do while I'm on my trip. So hopefully, if we'll they, keep the light on for 
please do. And I put, you guys, I put clothes outside that smell like us. I put food outside. We put our litter outside. We do all the things that they say you're supposed to do. I went out at dusk last night with, an, uh, with a uh, uh, flashlight so it would shine in her eyes. But, I mean, she could be anywhere. I, I, she could be anywhere. So say a prayer for me. And for, not for me, but for Alice. Thank you. All right, I'm all packed up. There's my suitcase. There's Mike's briefcase. Michael John's taking me to the airport. Time Let's do this. Adventure. Time for another adventure. I'm missing Ryan by like probably five minutes. He'll probably be home any second now. But um, I'm gonna go make this flight and go up to Baltimore and start my flying adventure. I hope they use me. You know, I'm on ready reserve, which means I'm on call. So I could sit for you know three days and not go anywhere. I hope that's not the case. I want to fly. Send me, send me. So I'm hoping. Mm -hmm that I'll get to go somewhere and I will let you know where that is. That's a great attitude, you know that? You think? I love it. Yeah, great. I, I love this work, so I'm looking forward to it. Missing my kiddos but um, and Michael John, but I'll always return. And they say um, absence makes the heart grow fonder. I buy it. Do you? Is your heart fonder of me when I'm gone? Of course it is. <laughs> okay. Guys, so Mike's gonna keep an eye out for Alice. It breaks my heart and I have a pit in my stomach to leave without before Alice is found. Um, but all of our feelers are out there and I have faith that she's gonna come back. I really do. So say a prayer for us. Here we go. Hi right, baby doll. Love you. Mwah. Thank you for a great week. Have a great time. Thank you. I'll see you on Sunday morning. All right, I'll be here. Thank you, I'll talk to you before right. then. to work looks like. So most people will get in the car and drive to their office or maybe work from home or whatever, but my commute is on an airplane. And I don't think I'll ever get um, sick of that. I don't know. They say that it gets old after a while, but I really do love air travel and it's so convenient um, flying from where we are in Florida to Baltimore. It's direct. Sorry about this. Um, so that's very nice. So anyway, so I'm here now and landing was just so beautiful as you guys can see It was the colors have started to turn here, which is nice So I feel like I have the best of both worlds in terms of being in the tropical climate of Florida and then the four seasons in Maryland It is just such a blessing So um, I'm hoping that the kids will be able to come here soon because I know they miss it here To be able to just come in for the weekend and say hi to their friends and see our house and all that stuff um, but they are so busy with school and everything, so it's hard to find a weekend to do that or a, a week. Maybe during Christmas time, but then flights are really busy, so who knows? I'm not sure. Anyway, I'm going to go back to the house. So I'm sitting ready reserve this weekend, which means that I'm on call. If you guys have heard me talk about this before, you know what that is. It means that I'm on call. Um, as a flight attendant, I've got to have my bag packed and be ready to be at the airport within two hours so I can jump on a plane or board, like help board a plane help deplane a plane, um, go wherever. So uh, I flew last week and um, so I might not fly this week because there are, it's on a rotation and since I flew last week I might not get a full three day trip this week. I might get a two day trip or even a one day trip. Um, so I will wait and see how that goes but regardless I have to be ready to be called at 4 a.m. I think it's like 4 a.m. Oh my gosh, my ears are a little funky. Um, so I'm gonna go home. Last last time I was here, maybe two times ago when I was here, I made some um, chicken verde. I'm all on a verde kick right now. I made pork verde just at home yesterday in Florida. But I made chicken verde when I was here and I had tortillas. So I'm so looking forward to heating that up and making a little two little chicken um, verde enchiladas. Sounds delightful, with a little cheese on top. And, um, settle in and get everything ready. I do have some editing to do that I'm gonna put a video up today. And then um, and then I will try to get to bed early because like I said, I could get called starting at 4 a.m. I probably won't uh, because of the fact that I'm so far down on the list because of the rotation list because I flew last weekend. But, um, but I could be. So anyway, if I don't, I'm gonna um, 
get up and maybe go for a run and see about um, catching up with some of my friends here in Maryland. So that's my commute and I will see you guys in a bit. I just talked to, I just heard from Brennan, he's at the library, so he has some really good news for me, which I'm anxious and eager to hear, but he's at the library so he can't talk yet. So he's gonna give me a call in about a half an hour. Looking forward to doing that. I haven't heard anything about Alice yet, but I did get a phone call. I put up some flyers, as you guys know, in some neighborhoods around our neighborhood. I got a call from one of the ladies that saw the flyer and she said, oh my gosh, I'll keep my eyes peeled. And I talked to the microchip company because she is microchipped and they put out a last um, kitty report. So they have all my updated information. So I just hope that somebody finds Alice or that she finds her way home by herself. I just hope that she's safe. So it's a little hard. Uh, it's always like sitting in the back of my mind. I, so it'd be hard to fly and not be able to constantly check in on her, but maybe it's better for me. Anyway, all right, stay tuned. So I just got a call from Katie. <laughs> Everything was going well at school. She's having a great time. She circus is going great. Sorority's going great. All of it. She's like, Mom, I'm doing so many cool things with my new circus acts. So my daughter's in the circus. She goes to uh, Florida State University. She's in the circus. If you guys haven't watched before, um, but anyway, I just got a call from her. Hey, Mom, my mom crutches now. What? Oh, I had a fall. So I told her to explain it in her own words, and hopefully she will, and she'll put it in here. Oh my gosh, hey guys, it's been so long since we've chit chatted. Sorry, I'm in bed and I also have my retainers in. Guys, I'm in my college apartment. I don't think I've ever done an update in my college apartment. Have I? I don't think I have. This is so crazy because last year I had like my crusty, dusty dorm and like I would give y'all updates in there, but now I'm like living like the big girl life. Like, look at this. Like, I have a whole closet. Like, I got a whole room and a bathroom all to myself. And it has a minimal mold, not a ton. So we're moving up in the world, ladies and gents. Um, I've been breaking out recently. I think it's hormonal. Fingers crossed. Um, oh, the elephant in the room. Or should I say the crutches in the room? I was at circus and I busted my ankle. Like, I busted her. Um, let's see if like <laughs> ah, it hurts. <sighs> okay, realistically, it doesn't look that swollen. And it's also not that bruised. However, um, this is what she looks like. I don't know if you can tell. Um, I have like this is that's that's from double trapeze. This is my skin. Oh, oh, see that bruise? I think, I think I screwed some tendons up. But then like, see, like what? I mean, come on, what is that from? I think I screwed up some tendons, um, TBH. Cause like, I mean, it does, I mean, it does hurt. Oh, sometimes I like play doctor and like touch it. And I'm like, does this hurt? <laughs> yes, it does. Like literally after it happened, I couldn't hear or see because I was in so much pain. My coach was like, are you okay? And I was like, I literally can't hear what you're saying. So like, if you're asking me a question, I have no idea what, what you're saying because I literally can't hear. Also, Isla gave me this sleep lotion. So, yeah, apparently this lotion helps you sleep. So I need to rub this into my hands now. But I love y'all. Hopefully my Anki gets better. What a shame. I'll see you guys later. All right, you guys, I'm calling it a night. I just had a long talk with Kate. A long talk with Brennan. He's got great news. Katie's got not great news because of her, 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 her anky ink. And Mike is at home. And I think he was, I don't know what he was doing tonight. But I'm here. This is my commute. I'm getting ready to go to work tomorrow. I will let you know if I get picked off the reserve list, off the on-call list, list to go traveling. And if so, I'll let you know where I go and it'll be super duper fun wherever it is, I know. So thank you guys so much for watching. We hope you um, enjoyed today's vlog. What made me happy today was, gosh, I feel like I did a ton today, but what made me happy today I think was getting here safe and sound and talking with Brennan and Kate. Um, what's not making me happy today is that Al still isn't home. So I do have faith though that um, I'm kind of, 
suspicious, not suspiciously, I'm kind of um, interestingly calm about it. And I think it's just because I have faith that I know she's going to come home. I really do. She's probably having a good time. <laughs> but um, I know she'll come home. I just wish she would come home soon because it's making me... Um, anyway, so comment below made you guys happy today, and we'll see you tomorrow. I'm not sure what tomorrow entails, but it's going to be an adventure.